I like this one. What's up, Monday Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to continue our series uh, on how to make $250 a day blueprint. Uh, our most recent video, we talked about setting up your dashboard, putting all the different widgets on the dashboard to help you trade. So in today's video, we're going to go deep. We're going to look into your chart and, and once you get on the chart what indicators do you put on the charts to help you identify your entry and your exit point so we're going to take a look at that today but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to indicators that you use for trading guys i want to emphasize this point you have to test these indicators so that you understand them see how they work don't just hear it go at it on your chart and just start trading take it go at it go to a simulator or paper trading test these indicators do some kind of a mixed match see which ones work better for you what combination works better for you before you jump and start using them so again this is stuff that i personally have tried and tested and i use it with my vweb strategy and it does work for me so i encourage you to actually test them with paper trading before you start using real money to test them so just a kind of disclaimer right there so that you guys understand so right now i want to show you guys um, my dashboard again, which I, I showed you guys in the last video, but right now on the dashboard Key things that I want you guys to focus on here. It's uh, my indicators See, I don't use a ton of indicators like I see other traders do this is my personal preference So uh, I don't want you leaving comments and telling me like hey, but you have to use uh, MACD or you have to use uh, you know moving average and all that stuff I understand those and I use them for different purposes but for my day trading I want to be very specific these are the indicators that I currently have on my chart the first one is yellow line that you see here this is my secret sauce this is the whole concept behind my trading strategy the VWAP trading strategy or momentum trade strategy this is what I use so you see on my chart VWAP is always front and center and then underneath that, you can see here, I have my stochastic indicator. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background here. This used to be MACD, and I replaced it with stochastic, and that's what I've been using uh, in the past, I think the past eight or nine months. So definitely, uh, if you want to, to go read and understand, this is not a, a kind of our, a video to teach you guys how stochastic is calculated or how these indicators came about i'm just showing you these are the ones that i use if you want to learn how these indicators are calculated or how they came about go to someplace like investopedia and read the details and they'll show you how these all these indicators are actually calculated if that's something that you are interested in so and then underneath that i have my rsi and then obviously volume at the bottom so you can see i try to keep my indicators to the minimum and in this case i have four key indicators and again um the, the breakdown here is that uh vwap to me as the very first one so when i'm when i'm trading if anything if i start my day trade and again i'm going to emphasize this is day trade specific if anything is below vwap i don't trade i wait for an opportunity so again below vwap i take my time i pause i wait for it to get to the point where i feel comfortable which is above vwap because i'm trading momentum so if it's above vwap i'm gonna be like okay this is giving me an opportunity i start looking at my entry point but below vwap I'll wait for it. So that is my secret sauce. Second is uh, stochastic. And again, this is all in combination with volume down here because if even if I get the right entry point or right setup and I don't see volume uh, to my liking, then you start to think twice because you can see some movements where price can spike, uh, volume doesn't follow. That might be a, a quick sign of a reverser, just something to, to be aware of. So I have volume here alongside with my stochastic and RSI. So stochastic, basically, just to give you guys um, the way I use it, if you can see right here, each time my K line crosses to the upside. So if you see K line here is blue and my D line is yellow. So just watch this. Each time K crosses to K line crosses to the upside, or I'm in this case, I'm gonna see the blue line 
crosses to the upside, you're going to see an uptrend. Or again, when it crosses to the downside, you see a downtrend. So look right here. We we come here. K line crosses to the upside. Look at that cross right there, and the stock gaps up, up, up. It gets up here. It it starts to consolidate and touches. See, it kind of pull back a little bit. It crosses a little bit here. Look at that little move, and it crosses to the downside. We get that pull back all the way down here, and then see again. Once it crosses again to the upside, we have an uptrend going. So that is exactly how I would start looking at that to see where my entry point would be in a particular stock. And again, like I said, it's not just that, hey, when you see that, you jump in. Uh, sometimes you want to make sure that there's uh, volume accompanying that. So for me, uh, for the most part, this particular stock, I, I, all these below the VWAP, I would not even take the trade. I would wait until I see some sort of a cross above VWAP. So like right here, once this when it crosses VWAP right here, that's why I'm gonna start looking for an opportunity. So uh, we can look for some other examples here. Let's see uh, Mara here. So again, you can see here, I this all this below VWAP, uh -uh, it's not a good trade. This would have been a good spot uh, to at least take a trade because it crosses VWAP right here, give you a little bit of confirmation, and you can see the volume down here really spike. You can pop, it go in, ride this thing up to let's say that 33.25, and then take profit because right here, the tip right there, it starts to cross again. K start crossing to the downside, and you see it pulls back. So that's how I use um, stochastic. And then obviously, um, uh, RSI shows you if a stock is uh, oversold or overbought. So if you can see here, I have two levels in my RSI. I have the 30 as well as the 70. So in this particular case, if it's under 30 right here, it means it's oversold. And if it's above 70 up here, it means it's overbought. So that way you can also start gauging if it's oversold or overbought and at what point do you want to get in. Just kind of give you um, some kind of uh, an indication right there. So again, guys, this again, I'm showing you the indicators that I use. I'm going to show you guys in a separate video. Uh, in this case, we're going to use an example, which is going to be a live video so that you guys can actually see um, when I go in, when I get, I go out and how I decide to go in and how I decide to go out. Because I want to make that uh, like a video that is just specific with an example so you guys can actually see it um, live. So that's, if, you, if you're if you looking to, uh, for a video like that, that's coming. But in this case, these are the indicators that you would add on your chart. For me, the four, I keep it nice and simple and clean. I don't want to overcomplicate stuff or overanalyze stuff. I end up making mistakes when I do uh, stuff like that, when I go that route. So. Again, this is just my personal preference. So again, that is how I set up my indicators. Those are the key indicators that I use. Again, these are my personal preference. It doesn't mean that you have to copy them exactly as they are. You can try to copy them, practice, learn, do some combinations like I said and see what works for you. And if it doesn't work, don't use it. Use some simulators, use paper trading to test and see that this is a strategy or these indicators work in that same combination. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think. What indicators do you currently use uh, for day trading that I didn't include in this list or that are part of this list as well? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get some free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.